Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play. We are, of course, continuing as the mighty Soviet Union, and we've started our attack on Poland, guys. So we need to hope that all of the decisions we've made here in terms of movements are going to work out for us. Um, I've already given everybody a, a movement order, essentially. We've even got reinforcements coming in from different parts of the country. Um, I'm going to be sending a few guys in over here, and let's just go ahead and get started here. We're going to go slow at first, but as you can see, we are also at war with Poland, the United Kingdom, British Raj, France, the, all the allies. So the allies are not just at war with the Germans, but also at war with us, the Comintern. This is an amazing development um, and makes this Second World War much more interesting, to say the least. Um, we're trying to get some more of these replacements up. We've got a lot of guys down here that could certainly help. And I'm actually moving them up to take uh, over in these areas where we're not doing as well. Um, so hopefully we can turn the tide around. Let's go ahead and keep attacking through here. Now as for our eastern front, I'm sad to say not focusing on it nearly as much, partly because we're not doing very well on it, and I'd rather that our Chinese allies uh, really pick up the slack there, and I think they're going to. Let's go ahead and move in here as well. And since we're already here, we might as well continue the assault into this northern part of Poland, guys. Vincenty Kowalski is defending, but we're going to be able to defeat him easily, I think. Um, a few places here were not as strong, but I think we should be able to uh, make things right. Let's actually send our guys in here to reinforce. We are sending, guys, bombers, various bombers on air missions right now. Um, in fact, we've got a few planes and reserves up here by Leningrad. I'm going to try to send them into Poland, but I'm not sure they can reach. So we're going to go ahead and just basically drop them over here. And it looks like at least the tactical bomber can certainly stand by eastern Poland. What about the fighter plane? Can you go? What is wrong with this fighter? All right. Well, we'll send the tactical bomber. It's better than nothing, no? No one starts complaining or else you go to Gulag. We're doing actually really good over here, um, close to the eastern front, we're about to push through. And over here, we should be pushing through, like, right now. Uh, I'm gonna actually send this guy right through the center, actually, towards brest uh, And I think we can probably get a pretty good attack here. Let me send this guy. Sadly, he's already attacking, but I'm gonna send some reinforcements over here. Actually, let's send them here, because we're already having a battle. And it looks like the Polish are trying, if I'm not mistaken actually get the better of us over here but so far we hold the line and that's what's important everyone to eastern Poland we need constant bombing runs all right we're definitely making a gap over here um, let's move south and the reason I'm doing this is I want to cut off the enemy supply lines, and that's the way we're going to do it, my glorious Soviet soldiers. Let's send these guys in as well. Got some tanks too, why don't we send them in for an attack? Okay guys, it looks like we're going to be breaking through here very soon. I'm surprised that we haven't taken um, Lithuania yet, but for whatever reason, uh, it still remains... Um, a tool of the enemy, let's say, because right now we're not just at war with the co with the capitalists, uh, with, with, excuse me, with the fascists, but also with the capitalists. Um, so this is going to be a very interesting war, to say the least. And it's also interesting because right now the British are also at war with the Japanese. So it's a really confusing scenario. We're at, we're both at war with the Japanese, but yet we're also at war with each other. What happened to the enemy of my enemy is my friend? What happened, huh? Did we forget about all that? Apparently we do. We're going straight towards Jahar. And actually, any troops I have, I want to go straight for Jahar. It's really all I can do right now. Um, and doing okay over here against Rikichi Ando. Let's hope we can just keep that up. Okay, we're going to increase the speed, guys, temporarily just for a bit. Boom! Some beautiful breakthroughs already. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. I'm going to pause a little bit here. It looks like Xinjiang has to send two divisions to fight with us. Well, we won't destroy them after all. That was nice of them. Um, and they've stopped off in Leningrad. I'm guessing they'll be up here. Uh, we're also going to bring down a lot more guys 
from the north here from our Finnish front. I'm not too concerned about the Finns, honestly. I know they're great fighters, but I don't think they're going to uh, attack us. It's just not in their style, uh, unless they suddenly join up with Germany. And the Germans aren't at war with us either. Uh, we're actually, we have, we have a pretty good relationship with Germany uh, in this particular campaign. We do have some free dockyards. Let's go ahead and build a few for our submarines. Why not? We'll also build some tanks, or some factories for our tanks. Alright, we've already sent most of these guys out for a mission, but what the hell. Beautiful, guys. We're already slowly pushing into Poland. In fact, not slowly at all. If we actually... We're, we're going very slowly right now, but if we actually increase the speed here, you'll quickly see um, the massive advantage we have. Push through again. This country belongs to us! We will liberate Poland. And actually, this is amazing. Is Poland fight if pushing into Germany? It is, guys. Right now, we're actually assisting Germany um, because they can't seem to take the Poles on by themselves. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll also send some troops over here to assist. Send these guys in. That's not necessarily good news for us. Maybe these guys are stronger than we anticipated. Uh, but we'll send some reinforcements in here. And these guys, too. Why aren't you guys attacking, you fools? Keep on going, boys. As soon as we take this area, I'm going to feel a lot better because that's going to be a pocket that we can evacuate from and move towards the city itself. Send them in. Japanese diplomats in Berlin. Our enemies should not be making friends, especially... Yeah, definitely not. Uh, let's see. Oh, a lot just happened. Netherlands joined the Allies. German Reich declared war on the Netherlands. Uh, German Reich declared war on Luxembourg. Okay, so the Reich is making it very clear that they're not allies with um, the uh, allies. Um, so that's good, and possibly we can make um, some some allies out of the uh, out of the Axis. Who knows? So they've called Belgium into uh, their war against us here, and so far I don't see any foreign units, any international units, but I'm sure that that could eventually happen. Got some more attacks here we could do. Warsaw. Go ahead and take that uh, city right there and push these tanks through. Hope for the best, comrades. What's going on here with nationalist uh, China? A non aggression pact from China. Wait a minute, what happened? Wait a minute. We have to see what just went on. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I just want to see if Chiang Kai-shek just got confident because maybe he took over... Nope. Mao is fine. That's good to hear. And, uh... Well, oh, I guess. Yeah, why not? Because at this point, we, we really need to go against the common threat, which is going to be Japan. And, uh, we all need to rally around the cause... I want to take Chahar, because if we can make Manguko capitulate, that's going to improve our chances of actually beating Japan, believe it or not. These are all victories so far. Look at that. Unbelievable. Um, I'm going to take some more of these units. Push on through to Varsawa. We are liberating the people. They should be happy. I don't understand why they are so afraid. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Japan is called Nationalist Spain into the war. Oh, no, that's not good. Republican Spain joined the allies, and now the Republican Spain... This makes no sense. So now Republican Spain and Nationalist Spain are working together, guys. They're working together to fight us. Um, so they've joined the allies together. I guess they've agreed to partition Spain into two countries. Um, he uh, gets over here. Galicia is mostly uh, Nationalist Spain, and the rest of the country is essentially uh, Republican Spain. Let's see if Republican Spain is still staying true to their communist ideals in terms of their government choice. They are, so this is very, very upsetting for me to say the very least. We'll have to deal with them later. We also gave them forces during the war. Talk about being stabbed in the back. Everyone attacking here. All right, BT-7 is research is finished, so we can all go ahead and start upgrading some of our forces. Um, let's take a look here. 
Definitely want to bring some engineer company support. All right, we already have that selected. Let's save just to make sure. I'm just going to move this guy in to uh, sort of mop up here behind the lines. And I want these tanks moving through this area right here. Forward! Alright, we've got a lot of guys there. I'm gonna keep cutting through. And we'll take, uh, we'll keep going towards Vasava. Try to open up this division here and allow them to breathe a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, Luxembourg has capitulated to the Germans. Uh, and the fall of Warsaw, guys. Poland did not stand a chance. There we go. Uh, German forces have taken Warsaw. Crap! Okay, so let's see what happened here. Poland has capitulated. We've got to see what happened in terms of the actual um, taking of Poland, partitioning of Poland. So we definitely partitioned it, and we've got a weird scenario because we've got three units here um, that are trapped behind the enemy lines. Um, I might go ahead and have to destroy these divisions, disband them perhaps. Uh, because right now we don't have movement with uh, with the enemy with the Germans. Well, they're not our enemy, but um, we have partitioned a good portion of Poland. Obviously, um, they have taken really most of the major cities. We did get Vilno though, and that's what we wanted. Um, Minsk. I mean, this is not the worst thing that could have happened, of course. So we'll take a look here at the map now. The common turn still con controls a whole lot. And one thing I want to do is I want to go here and immediately um, start putting claims, justifying a war goal against actually take claim state uh kaunas or in this case of course uh Lithu <coughs> excuse me lithuania um but one thing we want to do guys we have enemies we've got belgian and british units that dare to um attack the very peaceful country of the latvian soviet socialist republics of course which work for us they are uh one of our puppet states so we've got to go and help them out for sure um and hopefully the germans will be able to hold the line against the rest of the invaders right now interestingly enough the germans are actually kind of friends to us nationalist spain has capitulated wow so republican spain actually managed to beat them i suppose good work guys unfortunately you guys are my enemies now but still good work um and we want to definitely start researching some more stuff here uh, let's start improving our artillery research. Very interesting situation, to say the least, guys. <laughs> I mean, just imagine. The partition occurred, and uh, hopefully... We can only hope that the Germans will respect the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact and go ahead and pull back at this point. Um, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to get the hell out of here um, and allow us to conduct business. Soviet business. Okay, we could oppress Lithuania. Lithuania cannot expect to withstand the might of the Red Army. Um, if we send them a demand for basing rights and control of their border security, we can annex them, effectively annex them, without fighting. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Let's uh, send the ultimatum. I think they know how dangerous this is to refuse uh, the great leader Stalin. Germany honors the pact. Amazing, guys. So look at that. Really incredible. We get to occupy eastern Poland. So we get to take all of these locations. The Germans actually left. That's amazing. We still have some Italians stuck here. But um, apparently we're fighting with the Italians. We will save you from capitalism. Glorious. So now they've joined us, guys. Look at that. Unbelievable. Um, of course, Estonia has joined us. Uh, Latvia, Lithuania, we've got the entire Baltic region in our grasp. And now we just need to make sure that the enemy doesn't break through the south here. A lot of allied soldiers coming through here. It's not something I like. So we're going to go ahead and attack from this region right here. Hopefully these damn Italians will leave us alone. Get out of our land, idiots. Alright, some major fighting here against the Belgian and British forces. Um, and the Belgians are the main attackers here. Or at least Belgians being led by a Brit. Really, they should be ashamed. Some of these guys here. And I think our VP7 tanks can turn the tide here. We definitely need more resources. And no one's going to trade with us except maybe Brazil. Um, oof. What about Siam? 
We need a whole bunch. We don't even have enough to buy it, but we're gonna get what we can. As many resources as we can get. We need rubber. This is the problem with having bad relations with people. And actually, we could buy some rubber from the German Reich. This is one good thing about being borders with a fascist superpower. As long as they don't feel like killing you right away, they make pretty good trade allies. Alright, guys. I'm gonna go check on the Eastern Front. Um, I'm very happy about that, though. That is truly the German Reich, and they have given us Eastern Poland as agreed. Um, and right here, it looks like things are basically the same as they were before. Not very much going on. We're still trying to take South Jahar, uh, and we should definitely try to renew efforts to do that. So we're going to send everybody we have here to start taking South Jahar. Uh, and it looks like we're even getting some support from our Chinese friends. I certainly hope so. Wow, what a turn of events, guys, I have to say. That is really interesting. Um, so here we go. We're at war with Japan, Manguko, National Spain, and Italy, of course. And we're at war with Poland, United Kingdom, British Raj, France, Australia, Canada, New Zealand. Oh, man, so many. Um, we'll take a look here, and this is the Soviet-Japanese War. I don't, I can't believe that National Spain and Italy have joined with, um, it looks like Japan. Let's take a look at the factions. No, those are the Axis. These are the Axis, still al allies, common turn. So there's no third faction. Brazil is not a faction. Brazil is not a faction. Um, but, you know, I actually managed, just playing for fun, I actually managed to make a third faction using, <coughs> excuse me, using the, um, the Japanese. Um, I forget what they're called, but they essentially break away from the Axis, and it's really cool to be able to control another faction. It's, it's just amazing. Here we go, guys. It looks like we might get a victory here. We will make sure to send these British and Belgian prisoners to the finest of gulags. And it looks like, look at this, Germans um, assisting us in fighting back the Allies. So we are truly fighting with the Germans for world supremacy. Are we trying to turn the world into a totalitarian super state? Maybe that's exactly what we're trying to do. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I think that was a pretty good uh, episode right there. So make sure to always hit that like button. Share this series with your friends. Um, if you enjoy this so much that you, you want to send some donations uh, to the channel, please send them to agrippamaxentius at gmail.com um, via PayPal, and I would really appreciate it. <clears throat> Once again, we're going to keep attacking uh, these Italians that apparently refuse to leave. Um, and I'm pretty sure we can we can get them the hell out of here. I think that our Germans, our, our German friends, are somehow allied with them, yet at the same time at war with us. Or, or they're at war with us, not the Germans. It's very confusing. This is World War II confusion is what it is. Um, but hopefully we can come to an agreement very soon here. Uh, right now I'm just going to keep moving west. I might take Hungary. I might take Romania. Take whatever the hell I feel like taking. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a glorious and awesome day.